You always wanted to learn Home Assistant, but you're not quite sure how long is it going to take. In this video, I'm going to outline four levels of Home Assistant mastery, and I'm going to show you how you can reach each step and how long it's going to take. But first, let's roll the intro. To reach level one of Home Assistant mastery, the beginner level, I'm really looking for you to have achieved the following. Install Home Assistant, and the second you've integrated a couple of devices and you've actually created your first automation. And maybe you've also started looking at dashboards. This is an awesome place to start where you've done the biggest thing. You've gone from a barrier of going from nothing to having something running. I'm convinced that if you dedicate one weekend, you should be able to achieve the level one. I would split your time in three blocks. First 20 to 30 minutes, I would just spend reading on the Home Assistant website itself. Now there are pros and cons with the Home Assistant documentation. The pros is that you get the up-to-date information. The con is that sometimes things are confusing and some pages are more for experts and not maybe for a beginner like yourself. I look at the installation page, dashboards and automations. That's going to give you a fundamental idea, but spend no longer than half an hour on this. Now, once you actually know what you need to do, you're going to need to install Home Assistant yourself. Now allow two to three hours for this activity, even four, depending on how many smart devices you have in your home. What you're really going to do is you're going to be installing the Home Assistant that should not really take longer than an hour. If you are struggling, there are plenty of YouTube videos that actually showcase how you can get Home Assistant installed. You can also buy hardware with Home Assistant already installed. Then you're going to be looking at the auto discovery page. So Home Assistant is really great and allowing you to auto discover some of your smart home devices. Could be Philips, u bulb Sonos speakers. Now that you've got some devices integrated, try and create an automation with the GUI. So go to your automation page and get yourself familiar with triggers, actions, and conditions. Just read really at a high level what they do. Once you've completed day one, on day two, I would really focus on the jargon. To really understand Home Assistant and to follow through with tutorials and blogs and just to understand what's going on, there's a certain amount of jargon you need to understand. Now, I've made a brilliant video that explains the Home Assistant concepts, which I will link at the end of this video. And in that video, I actually talk about entity IDs, devices, many other concepts that you sort of need to know. And you'll get quite confused if you don't know what they are. Now, I've packaged all this information up in a one hour free Home Assistant course, which you'll find in the link in the description down below in the Smart Home Maker School. Give it a go and let me know if it actually does help you to speed up your home assistant journey. Now level two is your average Joe. This is where you sit for most of the time and most people are very comfortable staying at this level. So there's nothing wrong with, with staying at level two in terms of home assistant mastery. So with level two, you've continued integrating more devices, you've continued adding more automations, a little bit more complex automations, but you, now you've also got your head around add-ons, you started using them. You've also completed your first dashboard, which will give you an idea. Now you can follow many dashboard tutorials to get inspiration. There's so many cool ideas, but getting a functional dashboard is a key fundamental part for your smart home journey. We're also looking to set up presence detection at this phase. You should be comfortable with configuration.yaml, uh, all the YAML files and how they work at a high level and make some minor changes to them. You don't need to split uh, configurations at this stage. That's not really necessary. But if you do understand how they work, that's even better. To get to level two, I would expect at least three months. And really you need to keep yourself a little bit immersed in a home assistant world. So 10 to 15 minutes a day, maybe watch a video here and there. Um, and also always try to apply it in practice. Just don't be passive and just listening to podcasts and looking at videos but actually try to implement, right? So at this point you will know actually what Home Assistant can do and then you will know what you want to achieve and you can probably go and Google and get enough information to get where you want to get to. The next level after that is level three, which I would call the advanced Home Assistant user. At this stage, you're not only very comfortable with everything that Home Assistant can offer, but you're also looking at custom integrations. So you're looking at hacks, you're looking at everything that you can find over there. You're also able to integrate devices that are not UI driven. So you can do stuff in the configuration.yaml to pull in uh, new devices, pull in APIs. You've also looked at templating and Jinja, and that will enable you to 
do much more complicated things and I've made several videos about Jinja on this channel and scripts and loops. If you are interested, don't miss them and subscribe to the channel. You're also now looking into Node-RED because once you pick up Home Assistant, a lot of people just prefer automating things in Node-RED. So Node-RED is another specific uh, skill you're gonna need to pick up if you wanna be an advanced Home Assistant user, in my opinion. And really the most important thing is that you start helping other people out. So you help people out in the comment sections, in blogs, or in Reddit posts and you are actually contributing back to the community to people that are maybe a level one or a level zero that even haven't even started Home Assistant yet. Now level four mastery of Home Assistant is where you become an absolute authority and a guru. And not only you have your smart home fully automated and you have the best looking dashboard, but you're also able to contribute to the Home Assistant project itself. You can either do that by creating custom integrations yourself or actually just contributing to the code base as Home Assistant is open source. And the other thing also is that you become an ambassador of Home Assistant and you just go around and promote it. And many people that actually reached level four actually got employed by Home Assistant themselves in the Nabucasa team. And this happened a few times that I've seen. You really don't need to get to level four to run a really good and robust smart home with Home Assistant. But I just wanted to highlight this mastery level. To get to this point, really, it's gonna take you a year and a half or two years of Home Assistant because you're gonna to need to understand the history of Home Assistant, really immerse yourself with all of the latest and greatest in terms of the new releases, understand how the code base is written to contribute to it. That's a completely different skill. I'm also assuming that you have some programming skills or you've picked them up in this year and a half, two years. So you can actually write code and contribute to Home Assistant. But that's way beyond what many of you are actually looking to do, which is just set up a cool smart home. If you found this video useful, then the next video will outline 12 Home Assistant steps that I've personally taken to become a pro. And you can too.